Hi guys, Mr. New Mobile here. iPhone 12 Pro and the iPhone 12 Pro Max checkout. Please subscribe followed by the bell. You can also keep up on Facebook, Twitter by clicking the links in the description. The iPhone 12 Pro and the iPhone 12 Pro Max are both fantastic phones, and they have a lot of similarities, but there are some differences as well, and so I want to help you decide which one would be best for you and so. The first thing is the price the iPhone 12 Pro comes in at $999 and goes all the way up to $1,299. The iPhone 12 Pro Max is $100 more. For the same storage options $4099 to $1399. You can get regular 128GB, 256GB, or 512GB, and it comes in four different colors this year. Last year they have a green color that's now gone and replaced by this new Pacific blue color that I have here. You also have silver gold and graphite is just a replacement name for space gray, but they basically look the same from year to year. Now obviously you have a very big size and a weight difference as well. The iPhone 12 Pro is 6.66 inches or 189 grams or the iPhone 12 Pro Max is 8.03 ounces or 228 grams, it's definitely heavier you feel the difference, and it feels much larger in your hand this year, because the edges are squared off the edges are stainless steel this year, and you have the same sort of layout you had every year. So you have a stainless steel edge glass front and back, and you have your power sleep wake button on the right hand side followed by your 5G millimeter wave, and not everyone gets this, but it's for millimeter wave. If you have that specifically Verizon or AT&T on the bottom the speakers are the same, although you have a couple of fewer speaker holes this year just on the smaller size. So it's sort of symmetrical 4 verse 3 when it comes to the microphone and 5 verse 6. When it comes to the speakers now on the other side on the left hand side again, you have the exact same thing. So you have your volume buttons your silent switch and your SIM card tray in there, in different spots this year and you can see the edge of this is an absolute fingerprint magnet. And you will have to wipe it, off, wipe it off often, but the back is that it's matte doesn't have that issue. Now obviously one of the biggest differences is the displays. And the displays are very similar as far as their overall pixel density. But the iPhone 12 Pro is 6.1 inches or 2532 by 1170 pixels, with a pixel density of 460 pixels per inch. The iPhone 12 Pro Max this year gets a 6.7 inch display the largest display ever on an iPhone. And it's 2778 by 1284 with 458 pixels per inch. They both have fantastic viewing angles, they go super bright 800. Ends of brightness at normal brightness. And then 1200 when playing back HDR video. And they both look fantastic. Both of them do use PWM to control the brightness, which means the screens are flickering. Even though you can't see this with your eye, but they do flicker, but there is a high enough rate this year when they don't bother. My eyes at all where they have in the past. So if you had issues with that. You really shouldn't see a difference now. Big difference between the two of them other than, weight and the overall size is the battery. The iPhone 12 Pro has a 2815 million power battery and the 12 Pro Max is a 3687 million power battery, and that battery does make a difference when it comes to the overall screen on time and usage when you're using your phone day to day the iPhone 12 Pro will get about 6 hours of screen on time, depending on how you're using it with the iPhone 12 Pro Max. You can expect closer to about 11 or 12 hours of screen on time, with normal use. This is my daily phone here and you'll see if I go back a few days depending on the day it's going to vary greatly, but generally, I'll get about 10 hours of screen on time 3 hours and 49 minutes screen on time 60 minutes of screen off time, and I used it about 1 fourth of the battery, so it lasts throughout the day. The iPhone 12 Pro and my normal use. I got 5 and a half 6. If I was lucky so I use it the exact same way you can, see I have the same icons and every use this 12 Pro swap the SIM card to the 12 Pro Max, and then used it that way. Now when it comes to the cameras on both of these phones, the forward facing camera is identical in every way. It looks great as 4K60 has HDR, but the rear cameras are a little bit different this year. The camera module in the 12 Pro Max is much larger as you can see here they're just it's bigger overall, which allows for a 47% larger sensor on the 12 Pro Max that allows better detail and low light. When you're taking photos and video so that could be a huge advantage. Although we're not seeing a huge difference yet as you can see in these photos from the main camera. We have a 1.6 aperture there's a nice depth of field, but you can't really see the difference unless you zoom way in. So there's not a huge difference here. 
but one thing you do get a little bit different on the 12 Pro you have optical image stabilization, which actually makes the lens itself float on the 12 Pro Max it's actually image stabilized via the sensor or sensor shift optical image stabilization, similar to that of the mirror was camera and recording to now the sensor itself is larger and on the float. That way the lens up being a better way to do that. You also have ultra wide of course and telephoto, but the telephoto is different on the 12 Pro Max as well. It can go up to 5x optical zoom when punching into the sensor where the 12 Pro can 4x. You can zoom in digitally as well a little bit further, but the difference is very small, so because of the overall sensors and things. The major difference is between the main camera with a larger sensor. Now both have lighter which helps for a better depth of field in night portraits and also augmented reality, and then both of them record in 4K 60 HDR, which is really incredible. I recorded my 12 Pro Max review and HDR, if you want to see that I actually uploaded in HDR Sophia and HDR capable display. You can see it, but you'll see option 4K 60 and down here HDR, so you have the HDR option which is really impressive, and it does a great job now, other than what I've already mentioned everything else is the same. You have the same face ID sensor you have the same water resistance IP68 6 meters for 30 minutes. You have the same 814 CPU with 6 GB of the same fast charging with MagSafe, so both of them support MagSafe this year. What will fast charge and align itself using the MagSafe adapter and charge at 15 watts. However, if you use a wired charger with a 21 adapter, you can charge 50% in 30 minutes on either it will slow down after that and take about an hour and a half total to charge depending on your phone, and so both of these are very similar, and it really comes down to size and battery life. I think for most while the cameras are different and I think in the future we'll see more improvements with a larger sensor on the 12 Pro Max right now it's very very close, and I don't think it really matters to a whole lot of people, the 5G is the exact same, you get the same speeds the same quality connections with the Qualcomm modem, and the major difference is the size and battery life. So if you really want a lot of battery life then I would go with the 12 Pro Max, if the battery life doesn't matter as much if you want something that fits in your hand a little bit better will then I would go with the 12 Pro, both are excellent phones being that they're within $100 but really they're very very close, and the camera is a little bit better this year, and the 12 Pro Max otherwise there's no difference whatsoever the same speakers the same microphones, the same reception just size battery and the cameras, are the major thing now hopefully that help you decide which you should choose, whether that be the 12 Pro the 12 Pro Max, or maybe even sticking with a different phone, will going with something else. Hopefully, this helps you out. Let me know in the comments below. If you picked one of these up which color and which storage size, please subscribe, like the video, comment thanks for watching see you on my next video one piece out.